we're going to be covering the Knitmaster or Silver Reed River setup today. I have my Knitmaster Mod 580 here and I have a Silver Reed SRP60N River. These are the items that we're going to want to use today to set up the river. So we have the river clamps, the racking handle and the setting plates that go into the main bed. I've removed the carriage from the river just to reduce the amount of weight that we're going to have to handle. I'll also uninstall the main bed clamps and remove the carriage from the main bed too. So with the main bed clamps and the carriage removed, we're going to lift the bed up so that you can see the locating point for the river clamps to be attached into. And there'll be one on either side of the machine. So we're going to take our river clamps, bearing in mind that it is the same shape here as the main bed clamps so you want to ensure when you install it you install it in the correct way using one hand or getting someone to help you to hold the machine if you don't have the strength to do so we're going to screw this piece all the way up so that this locating pin slots into here and once that's pushed in and pulled forward to the front of the machine we're going to tighten down this screw As tight as you can possibly get it with your hands you may wish to use a pair of pliers to tighten this even more if you don't have the grip strength in your hands and you'll repeat for the other side once you have both of the rubber clamps attached to the main bed we're going to slip it forward to the front edge of our tabletop And we're going to push the clamps all the way in to the leading edge of our surface and tighten down the clamps. And again, you can come back if you didn't before with a pair of pliers, just make sure that the clamps are relatively straight in line with the locating point on the underside of the machine and tighten these as much as possible. We're now ready to install the setting plates so I have the corresponding setting plate for the correct side of the machine. I'm going to take out the thumb screw here and I'm going to insert this tongue piece of metal underneath the flat leading edge and ensure that the plastic seats itself on top then you can double check the alignment of the oval groove and replace the thumb screw back in and tighten it with a screwdriver We're then going to repeat the exact same process on the opposite end of the machine. So inspect the plastic before you install it, that there's no cracks. 
insert the long metal tongue into the underside of the flat leading edge and ensure that the plastic seats itself over the top and place in the thumb screw And we can come back with the screwdriver in a little bit. So now we're ready to install the ribber. What I've done is on the back where the brackets are, I've folded down the stabilising arm and we're going to locate these pieces into the setting plates. Now I'm going to take the right hand side of the ribber because this piece can freely move and we're going to offer it to the machine and then we can slide it side to side so that the other end can locate make sure they are pushed all the way in and then we can come back with the screwdriver and tighten down these thumb screws. So now we're ready to stabilise the machine. We're going to take the main bed clamps and we're going to attach onto the stabilising arm where there's a flat tab area to do so. And what I want to do is to try and bring the tab as close to the front of the machine as possible as I tighten it onto the surface. And if you struggle with your wrist strength to get it tight, then you can take a screwdriver and use that to torque the clamp. And you'll repeat that on the other side. And then you're going to lift up the white plastic tab and push it all the way back. And that helps to stabilise the main bed to the river connection. Once we have the ribber installed, we want to check for alignment before we do any reattaching of the carriages to the beds. So for the height adjustment, we're going to pull forward some needles and I'm going to take an old punch card or you can use a piece of paper and we just want to lay that underneath the needles onto the gate pegs and it should slide in easily you can see there's quite a bit of resistance on this one so i'm going to have to drop drop this for the alignment so that i don't end up with any damage as we pass the carriage across and i'll test the other side and we'll come back and show you how to adjust the height when we want to adjust the height of the ribber, either raise it or lower it, we want to undo this nut here just slightly so that we can move this thin lever either up or down depending on which way it needs to be moved. 
So once you have this nut loosened, we can then pull this flat tab and then go back up and check the needle al alignment to the rubber sinker posts and if it needs to be dropped more we can do that or if we put it too far down we can bring it up before we then tighten this side. Next adjustment we need to do is the side to side adjustment and you can tell if this is off when the red indicator for the racking handle isn't in line with the number for whichever setting we're on. So I'm on P, so I go to the top row, P5, and it's slightly off to the left. So we're going to go to the back and adjust that. So when we want to adjust, we want to undo this screw here. And we can loosen this. And that allows the white plastic piece, you can see it has an oval slot. So you can go to the front of the machine and align this up to position 5, hold it in place and come back. To tighten. Once you've fixed all of your alignments just come back and double check when you're on P for pitch that your needles are likely to line up and you can always take off the C clamps from the main bed and loosen the setting screws to do any other finer adjustments. So we want to ensure that these are in line before we go ahead and put the carriage back on to test. That's so put the carriages back on, I've put the rubber sinker plate on and we're just going to pull over the rubber carriage, press it in for it to click into place and just move this back and forth to see how it feels. And the same since we're on pitch. Let's try a little mop. Dry run of one by one. That feels very nice. Great. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment and until the next time, you've been watching Button Mouse the Wee Machine Knitter.